Hey guys, Jazz the Guy here with another episode of Sev Tech. Today we push on to the fire swamp, and luckily it was uh, pretty much right next to the Minotaur, right? Here's the Minotaur maze. Here's where I found the fire swamp, and there's the edge. And that big hill's the Hydra. Um, we got the fire resistance to survive the fire swamp last time, so we don't burn. The only issue is the Hydra is really dangerous. Um, I fought it last time, and I died so many times and the other thing is the Hydra has this attack that destroys blocks and it can destroy your gravestone we do have this golden apple we got from one of the dungeons I don't have nearly the amount of loot I did in the previous run because uh, I had to re redo my save real quick because the file got corrupted but I still have most of the same armor actually I'm surprised it's not right there I know it spawned accidentally when I was running past. But uh, let's try with the golden apple. Might have been a waste. I don't know if it'll actually help. If I remember right, you gotta be so close. Or you gotta shoot. You gotta when his mouth is open, if I remember right. Fortunately, it also does go after the animals. It's immune to his own blast, too. It's not blowing up the ground. I think they patched it out. There we go. I don't know why that one worked and all the other ones did not. So it seems like the trick is to get close enough that you, uh, oh, I'm lagging. Okay, this is something else I forgot. Last time I fought him, I had a water bucket. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I got a bucket. Oh, yes, yes, I do. Okay. Thank God for the backpack. Because, uh, the most damage you'll take is being put on fire. Unfortunately, my golden apple ran out already. The only problem with the bucket method well those travel across the ground apparently they used to really blow up the terrain I guess they changed that that's the first time I put down the bucket like I said I had to redo things I think you have to be. Whoops. So close. Maybe I should use my sword. Oh, oh no. No, sword's bad. Sword's bad. Where's my water? Come on, eat. Wow. Okay, so it's not. As bad as it was previously without the ground getting destroyed. I still have a lot of trouble hurting it. So I guess these are uh, some more attempts sped up. Uh, basically, they didn't go so well. I went from arrows, I tried swords. I even pulled out the Minotaur's axe because it has a slightly higher attack as like a 10 instead of my sword's 8. And supposedly has a bonus to charging. Just didn't do enough damage. Um, easily one-shot by the Hydra. The other thing I noticed I had to pull up close 
with my I moved my bed closer so it wouldn't regenerate so much between my deaths. And then we got this next attempt, which went a lot better. Alright, so this time guys, we got a billion arrows, and we got our tool station, and some bronze to repair our bow if we have to. Uh, it still only seems to be the work, because the arrows... Wow. That was intense. Uh, let's see how many took. Only two? Wow. Okay, now I need... Oh no. All right, so we need to use this. Make fiery iron or whatever. Can make fiery stuff. Or you can take already fiery stuff. Yeah, already iron. So yeah, it's the same. Lava crystal. I remember that being really important. I can't remember what for exactly. Okay, but yeah, guys, I don't know. Didn't take nearly as many arrows as I thought it might. Oh, it took two and a half. Okay. Well, guys, so there's the Hydra. Um, tried several different approaches. Uh, basically, arrows and strafing is about the only way I could do it. Um, swords, you could do it. Or, the, you know, any weapons. But it seems like if the Hydra touches you once, you're dead. And you need a bed nearby because if it's not... It regenerates so fast. And once it gets to like the six heads or whatever, it gets pretty insane. But yeah, guys, this is just a guess on and off. Catch you guys later. Bye.